What's up painting friends? Welcome back. My name is Stoof. Today we're going to do this cute little sunflower field painting tutorial. This is an acrylic painting and this tutorial is not going to be in real time, but I am going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process to recreate this one. This painting was also created as part of Dina Tollefson's Yellow Sunflower Art Challenge. She is another artist. She is very talented. She does a lot of work with color and texture, so make sure you check out her channel as well. I will leave a link to her channel in my description under this video. All right, let's get started with the tutorial. All right, guys, so we got a little bit of paint splatter on the canvas panel already, but that's okay. I um, brought my paint set with me from Pittsburgh to Utah, and we went up over 10,000 feet elevation, and the pressure in my little tubes of paint <laughs> went up. So some of the paint splattered when I opened up the little bottles of paint, but that's okay. We're going to paint over that. No big deal. So we have an 11 inch by 14 inch canvas panel here. We have our little palette. This is just a disposable... Uh, palette sheet. We're using acrylic paints today for our brushes. I've got a blend of brushes here. I don't think we're going to use all of these. I'm definitely going to use this brush here. It's like a semi-round brush. Uh, this flat tip brush is a good one. This flat tip brush. So like medium sized flat tip brushes. And then I have two r more on the round side finer brushes that will help with some of the leaves and petals. So this painting is, looking at it, it's like half sky, half earth with the flowers kind of all throughout the earthy part. So we're going to start with the sky since that's the farthest in the background. We're going to do some phthalo blue and white. Lots of white. And maybe a tiny bit of turquoise. And we're going to start with this mixture. It's like a nice warm blue. From, say we have that little crosshair for about center on the painting. And you just want to cover that all up. And we're kind of going to make a W like this. Because that's kind of how the flowers are going to be laid out. So just make that W, kind of evenly space your peaks there, and just brush this light blue all across the canvas. From there up. Then you want to start low and work your way up, getting good coverage of paint. Now we just want to use phthalo blue with white. We don't really want that turquoise anymore. As we're getting higher up into the sky, we want to start using more phthalo and less white. The uh, brand of paint that I use today is mostly this Liquitex soft body acrylics. These aren't the cheapest paints, uh, but they are very good quality. You can use any brand of acrylic paint that you'd like for this painting though. I can throw a little bit more of that turquoise and white color a little farther down too. Just because we're going to have a little bit of sky peeking through some of the flowers. Alright, so we're going to let that dry for a bit and come back and add some clouds later. Now we're going to work on our base dark shadow color for the flowers. So we're going to start with some sap green you don't have to totally rinse off your brush unless you have like a ton of white on your brush and you don't want your color to get too um too light so i just mixed some sap green with some of my black and we're gonna mix some phthalo green in there too and let's mix a little bit of indian yellow just to warm it up a little and then Basically go right up to your W, kind of leave a couple little spots open. 
but just kind of covering up the white space you can cover up all this and if you want to do something like this where you just take your brush back and forth and lightly create this kind of jagged edge that will help later doesn't have to be anything too perfect right now just make it look like that instead of a um, straight line and then it'll build more like you have a field of flowers rather than a solid line all right we're gonna take some phthalo blue now and blend that in and work our way down to the bottom of the canvas you can mix a little umber in there too Now we've got like a nice base layer of paint. We're gonna clean off this brush and we're gonna switch to this semi-round brush here. Let's see if we can see it. There we go, this semi-round brush. And we're gonna do some clouds. Maybe we'll give this uh, two minutes to dry and then we'll do our clouds. All right, guys, now we're gonna grab this brush, semi-round brush, medium size, and we're just gonna take some white to start with a little ultramarine and a tiny dab of just a tiny tiny dab of black that was more than a tiny dab <laughs> and we're just going to start to add some puppy clouds so you're just going to take your brush make little swirly patterns like this I'm not pressing too hard and my brush isn't super saturated with paint and I'm pressing even more gently when I get up to these softer puffy parts of the cloud. And you can just add a few clouds kind of by themselves. And then you can take the extra paint off your brush by just wiping it down on a napkin and go over that edge again, making little swirly patterns while your brush is dry. This is called dry brushing and you're just gonna get that nice puffy cloud look. Look at that, very good. Add another little cloud down here. And you can add clouds wherever you'd like to have them in your painting. And we're starting with this color that's not pure white so that we can add some pure white highlights on top of the cloud. And that will give your cloud that three-dimensional realistic look. And it doesn't look quite as flat. If you start with a color that's a little darker then you build up your highlights. I got the outline first, and I'm kind of filling in the inside of the cloud. I'm all using that base color first. Wiping the extra paint off my brush. And then fuzzing up the edges. Now I'll take a little more ultramarine blue, build up a little more shadow in here. Just kind of putting in a couple spots under some of that other color, like in lower sections of cloud to show where I'm going to have some shadows. Okay, now we're going to add some highlights. So we're just taking pure white and like a tiny, tiny dab of ochre. That was too, too much. <laughs> a tiny dab. Maybe a tiny, tiny dab of sienna, too. And we're going to add some highlights onto our clouds. First, I'm putting it on there. Look how much brighter that looks. Just gonna put a little bit on in a few spots and then I'm gonna come back and blend it in.
And I'm just blending this highlight down. Blending it down here, and I'm pressing pretty hard now because the paint's starting to set, but I want it to blend more. <laughs> I'm just making little swirls, going back and forth, getting that to blend in, and create these nice highlights. And the less paint you have on your brush, the uh, less opaque it your highlight becomes. So makes things a little easier to work with if you don't overload your brush with paint too. Alright guys, now we've got our clouds. That was pretty simple, straightforward. Next we're going to start to work on our sunflowers. So the bottom is dry at this point. That's good. The first thing I want to do is take this round tip brush right here and we're going to put some stems. We're going to do the stems first and then we'll add our little sunflowers. Then we'll go crazy with the, have fun with the detail. So it's going to take some burnt umber and some sap green. And we're going to start dark here and then we're going to go lighter later. So I'm going to dip my brush in the water, dip that back in the paint just to thin that down some. And now we can start to add some stems for the plants. Make one kind of come up off of that one. Have another one right there. The thinner, the thinner your brush is, the easier this is going to be. You can get more realistic lines with a really thin brush. And you just want to start adding a bunch. And they're going to kind of make their way down. And then you're going to have a couple in the center that are just a little bit taller. And thinning down the paint makes it easier to carry the paint around. Make sure you get all of your green off of the brush now. And now we're going to take some burnt sienna mixed with burnt umber and a little bit of phthalo blue. And we're just gonna, well, a little more phthalo blue. And we're just gonna put some brown circles for the center part of the sunflowers and a few spots here. Now if this is going to be a realistic painting for you, you need to think about your sunflowers. They're not all going to be perfectly the same size. They're not all going to be perfectly facing forward. Some of them are going to be tilted down. Some of them facing up. So don't make your circles all perfectly the same size and facing the same direction. Some of these ones in the foreground are going to be bigger. So we're cleaning off our small brush now, that same round brush we were using before. And we're going to take some titanium white mixed with our yellow azo and some yellow medium, and some Indian yellow, and a little more white. We're going to start light with this one, and then we can add more shadows and stuff later. And we're just going to start to add a bunch of little flowers coming out from the center, little petals coming out from the center of your flower. And for the ones that are facing sideways, they're going to look different. They're going to have the ones facing down are going to be partially covered. And 
And basically just make a bunch of little petals coming right out from your center point. And it's okay if a little bit of the brown from your center point gets into your flower petals. And you want to keep your sunflower petals proportionate to your middle part of the sunflower. So like this one had a bigger middle, so it's a little bit bigger sunflower. This one's even bigger. And my colors are blending a little bit, but that's okay. We're just mostly focusing on getting these shapes down first, and then we'll add some more detail after this dries a little bit more. We're just trying to figure out where all the sunflowers are going to go. Now we know where our sunflowers are so we can work on more of the stems and the leaves and let that yellow and brown dry and then we'll go back with another layer and get our detail in. For the leaves let's start by taking some black with our sap green and I'm using my flat tip brush here and we're just gonna start to add some darker shadows in here just kind of little blotches Now I can mix our vivid lime green with our little bit of yellow we had on there and sap green. And let's add some yellow ochre. This is like our nice middle green. So now you want to start to add some actual leaf shapes and your leaves kind of just go like that. <laughs> you start with the flat tip brush flat and then you kind of turn the angle and lift one side as you bring it down and that'll give you the leaf shape some of them have more of like a heart shape where you just do the opposite on the other side so you do flat and lift flat and lift all right starting to look a little better there and let's see, now let's take this flat brush, kind of wipe the extra paint off of it. We're just going to take some white, mix that with your green, your lighter green color, and some sap green, and some Indian yellow. Now we can do some stems. So wherever you have a sunflower, you want your stem to come up to it. Just using my flat tip brush here. And if you have a leaf you want to make a line go out to, you can do that too. And add a little more highlight, add a little more of a highlight on your leaf. Start to add a couple stems hiding in. You don't have to have a stem visible for every single sunflower. You can have some that just don't go to anything directly in the painting, but still implies that it's a stem leading up to something. And your stems shouldn't all go straight up. Some of them should go to the side, have little ones coming out from them. Some of them uh, should be covered up by leaves in front of them, which you can do later too. If you want to keep your lines straight, you can just put your lines in there for now. If you can, make some of your stems a little bit thicker and some of them a little thinner. If this one's right in the foreground so I can make it a little thicker. Same with that one, even though that was way too thick, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, and now let's go, let's just rinse or we'll just wipe down that brush. And we'll take just some black with our sap green and some umber. And we can just add some shadows. Some of these stems are just in shadow. Just put some 
coming up that So it's starting to really build up depth here now. And we can do this again with another round of adding leaves. Just take a little ultramarine blue with our white and our lime green. Take a tiny bit of turquoise there too. And add highlights to some of our leaves down here. Not all of them, just a few of them get a really nice bright highlight. And we can take just some lime green mixed with sap green and this yellow, this yellow too. Just get a really nice warm green. And just add a few more random leaves in here, different places. Indian yellow with some yellow ochre and a little bit of sienna. And we're going to start to add this right around the center, kind of making its way out on some of these sunflowers. Then I'm going to take my yellow, cadmium yellow, white, yellow azo, and a little bit more of that Indian yellow. And we're going to blend those together. We're going to put the other color first. Just going around the circle, layering that on there, and then get the extra paint off your brush. Maybe take a little bit of that darker color and let them blend. Just gently go around, softly blending that color up. And you could take just like some sienna too and do a couple little lines. Some umber. It's kind of coming out from the center, central part of the flower. Then you can take your sienna with ochre and brown and put some dabs right in the center. You can take just some black with umber and do little dabs around the center or do like a circle and then get the extra paint off your brush and just kind of dab it in there. Start to drag the color out, just a hair in the center. Switch it back up. That's basically how they're gonna look, more like that one right there. So these ones back here should be covered up because they're so small, they're farther away. So we're just going to blend some green here. Just cover these ones up.
gonna add a little phthalo green with my lime green and put some like cooler green shadowy colors in here that are just gonna just add another type of green to make this a little more exciting Alright guys, that is a finished painting. All right guys, that wraps up this painting tutorial. If you have any questions or ideas for future painting tutorials you'd like to see, leave a comment below this video and I will add that painting idea to my list of things to create for tutorials. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my weekly painting tutorials and painting videos every Thursday night. Thanks and have a great day and happy painting. Bye bye.